Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided I'm going to do a little holiday card series um, for everyone because I'm doing my Christmas cards right now and I've decided to do them in watercolor this year and I know a lot of people are interested in doing their own cards um, so I figured I just would record them and I think I'll have enough cards to post a video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday up until Christmas so be sure to subscribe and come back on those days for a new video. Um, I will try to list all of the supplies that I'm using um, down in the description, but I will be using the Winsor & Newton watercolor cards. And I've pre-drawn out um, most of my cards, and for any of the circles that you see that I'm using, I just got this uh, cheap stencil off Amazon, just for some of the circles to make it a little easier. Um, but usually I just like to kind of draw out um, some ideas ahead of time as I'm thinking about them and then I just paint a bunch of cards um, on the go. So um, if you want to see this happen then let's get into it. So I did take a little drop of water and put it in all of my um, colors just to kind of help get them activated and today we're going to be doing a snowman and he's got a cute little hat and a cute little scarf. So I think we're just gonna start, and we'll kind of start with a shadow on him. So I'm gonna get um, kind of like a blue. I think I'm gonna go into my cerulean blue, kind of like a lighter blue, and then I might uh, put a little hint of indigo in there just to kind of tone it down a little bit. And we're going to get some water, make this nice and watery. And the cards that I'll be using are the uh, Strathmore watercolor cards. They are actually come in a card and they come with envelopes. I got the 50 pack. It's a 140 pound cold pressed watercolor card. Now these aren't um, cotton at all. So I mean they can handle some water. There might be a little bit of buckling or warping. But that's fine because once everything's dry, we can just put them in between, um, you know, a couple of heavy books and uh, they'll flatten right back out. So that's fine. Okay. So we're going to go along and just make a shadow on him. Kind of here. And here, and under his little nose, under the scarf, and then I'm just going to rinse that off. And just dab it and then just take this and uh, with just clean water and then kind of just uh, spread it out a little bit so there's not such a harsh line there. And don't worry about the buttons because we're going to be um, doing the buttons and his face in black and the eyes and stuff so... That's fine, we just want a little bit of color down. Now if you don't mind the hard edges, keep the hard edges. That's totally okay. We just want some color on the page for now. And so you've got some time so you can kind of reactivate, play around with them. You want to be careful because if you reactivate too much, then they'll um, then you can cause some blooming. So where like the watercolor just kind of goes like that, and it'll spread, and it'll flow back. If you don't mind that look, great. If you're trying to avoid it, then just be careful. That's why I dab my brush off to get any excess water. And I'm just gonna. There, 
there, so I kind of like that. You know what, we'll just... Okay. So that's good there. And we'll go in after and deepen it up a little bit. As I say, it's good and I keep playing around with it. Okay, so we'll go in and we'll make his little twig arms. I think um, we'll just go in with a nice brown. So maybe we'll do just maybe a little bit of uh, Van Dyke brown, maybe some sepia. So this is Van Dyke brown. It's just a really nice dark brown and a little bit of sepia. And maybe just a little, little hint of black to really darken that up and make it look like twigs. And you know what? I'm going to go in with a smaller brush for this because his little twiggy arms are smaller. So maybe we'll take, um, you know what? I have a number two brush here. Okay. And I've got the color a little more concentrated on here than I did with the blue. Um, just because we want it to show up more. And just be careful when you're coming up against that blue. Because if it's still really wet, then that brown's going to pull right into the blue. So then I think, um, why don't we do, why don't we do his hat? So I think his hat will be, uh, I want to do the scarf in red, so I think we'll do the hat in green, just to kind of break it up. So it's, well, we could do the hat in red too, but I think we'll do it in green. So I've got a, a round six here, and I think I'll take this, and what green do I want to use? I want it to be like a nice bright red and a nice bright green. So I think I'm going to take some of my phthalo green. So this is just some phthalo green here. Put some water into it and it's, uh, let's put maybe a little bit of viridian in there too. And then just a hint of maybe some indigo just to kind of darken it down a little bit. Almost to make it like a like a darker green. All right, and we're just going to color in our little hat. Now you can do whatever colors you want. If you don't want your snowman to have a hat, he doesn't have to have a hat. You just do whatever you feel like. And then I'm gonna do a little pom-pom here at the end. And I'm just gonna take the tip of my brush, the very tip, and just kind of pull out. And make some little frillies. on the end of it. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry. And then maybe we'll go in and put our scarf in. Um, so we'll do like a nice red scarf. So maybe we'll go in with a cadmium, cadmium red hue. I think that's this one. 
So we'll do like a nice red, a bright red, and then we can always go in with a deeper red if we wanna do shadows or if we wanna do, um, you know, any pattern on the scarf, we can absolutely do that. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of water off my brush here. Now I didn't bother to tape down this card because we're not going very far up to the edges. So I didn't really feel like I needed to. If you wanna tape your card down, that's totally up to you. Usually I don't unless I'm, uh, you know, going right up to the edges. Pick up a little bit more, tap it off, we'll do the other one. Now I'm not worried about these two colors bleeding together because they're the same color. So I'm going right in next to it. So that's why I'm choosing to do areas that aren't touching. Like we did the body, then the arms, then the hat, and this. Um, just because when you're laying down a lot of color, if the two different colors touch while well, they're still wet, then they're gonna bleed into each other. So we've got some nice Christmas colors going there. And if you've used too much water and yours isn't drying as fast or you want to make sure it's really dry, you can always go over it with a blow dryer um, on a low heat setting and then that'll just dry it up real fast and then you can continue. All right, so I like how that's going. So I think we'll go in and we'll just maybe, maybe we'll do his nose, his little carrot nose. So we want an orange. So I'm gonna go um, light at first. So we'll do maybe our cadmium. Uh, that's the deeper one. We'll do, why don't we go cadmium yellow hue and we'll just take a little bit of this one. So it's not super deep at first. And then we can go in with some deeper stuff, with the deeper cadmium. And we'll just make a cute little, cute little uh, carrot nose. So now while we're waiting for some other stuff to dry, I think we'll just go in and do our buttons and his eyes. So I think we'll just take just our lamp black for that. And this can be pretty concentrated. And I'm just gonna dab it in. Now these don't have to be perfect because just imagine they're little pieces of, you know, coal or little pieces of rocks. They're not gonna be uniform in size out in nature. You know, you're not gonna get them placed just perfectly <laughs> when you're making your snowman. So it doesn't always have to be perfect. And sometimes I find when you're making handmade cards, it's it's nice to see those imperfections, that not everything is exactly, you know, lined up or smooth, um, stuff like that, because it really lends to the handmade feel of the card. Okay. There's that. Okay, 
so now I think, um, now I think, how dry is this? I think we'll just go in and add a little bit more to our hat. So I'm going to take the, I think this is Hooker's Green Deep. And I'm going to get some of that. And I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, indigo again. Just to make it nice and deep. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shading. So I'm going to tap off and uh, where our little hat rim would be. And I might even do some little stripes here. And a little bit of shading underneath. Okay, so we'll let that dry, and then maybe we can go back into our scarf. Um, I think I'll go down to a number two, just to make it a little bit smaller. Um, and I think we'll go in with uh, maybe our alizarin crimson red, just to make some of those. shadows and stripes a little bit deeper so we'll kind of start make a nice shadow there hair on the paper. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of black just to make it a little bit deeper, a little bit different. And then when that dries, we can go in and do some, some stripes if we want, or you can leave it like that. Um, but I'll let that dry for now. And I think I'll go back in and just add a little bit deeper shadow around him. But we're going to have to let this dry for a minute. Um, because everything, you know, if I go around and do a shadow under the hat, that's going to bleed. So we'll let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that our snowman's dry, we're just going to go in and kind of do a little bit of a deeper shadow on the edge there. So I'm going to take this main color, but I'm going to add a little bit more um, indigo to it. A little bit more indigo and then maybe a little bit of neutral tint. Just to make it a hint darker. Maybe just a dab of black. We don't want it too dark again. But we want it, you know, oh, that's a little, a little dark. We want it more dark than our other colors. Okay, so I'm just going to go right around the edges like I did before, right under the hat. Around the 
around here. And then around this one. And then I'm just going to, again, just soften it out. that line so you can be as fussy or not fussy as you want with this it can be whatever you want there so I like that and then we'll just take a little bit and run under our scarf and a little in between the scarves And I'm just going to soften it out a little bit. And if you're making a mess, just pick it up. If you get it where you don't want it to be, then just take a Kleenex and dab it up. It was starting to get a little, a little dark in some places, so I'm going to do the same over here. Just kind of wet it and like that. And then we'll just get a little bit natural. And then anywhere I just see some harsh edges, I'm just kind of getting rid of them a little bit. Okay. So that's pretty good. Okay. Now we can go back in and do maybe... Uh, Maybe we'll do a little bit of blushies on the cheeks, give them a little bit of blush. So I'm going to take, um, we'll go with the same red, but I'm going to water it down a lot. So I'm just going to grab just a touch of it and just water, 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 just to make it nice and light. And just to give them... just a little hint. Okay. Okay, so then we're just going to go in with a little bit of a darker hue. This is a cadmium orange hue. And we're just going to take this on his nose and kind of create just a little bit of shadow and some markings to make it look like a carrot. And there. So I think I'm going to call our little snowman done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
and please um, subscribe and like the video and be sure to come back for the next episode. Thanks for watching.